Who among you has tried to assemble something from IKEA, right? Instead, you just say, I'll pay you to do it and deliver it. Well, Swedish furniture giant IKEA now realizes it has gotten slammed by the radical retail shift. The world's largest furniture retailer is now cutting 7,500 jobs in a huge restructuring that will involve pink slipping, HR, and communications employees while hiring nearly double that layoff number, but for delivery and digital jobs. The hard reality of brutal online competition sent retail stocks to the bargain bin yesterday, but today you can see they're recovering a bit. L Brands, Target, Kohl's, Macy's, Tiffany, everybody's moving higher right now, but many brick and mortar chains coming to the same conclusion as IKEA. In fact, Adobe Analytics putting a fine point on it, why digital investment is so important, saying it expects $5.9 billion in online sales this Black Friday. Which names are on the ball, ready to kill it during the Super Bowl of shopping? Retail analyst Heatha Herzog and Barron's retail reporter Teresa Rivas are ready to game it all. All right, Heatha, to you first. You're the one who really gets her hands dirty. What, what time are you heading to these stores? I'm probably going to go out a little bit earlier this year. So I'm probably going to go out around 8 o'clock um, and then stay out until about 1 or 2 in the morning because I think I have to be back here at Fox Business to discuss <laughs> everything that we saw. Uh, but it's going to be really interesting. I think over the past couple of years, I've seen traffic dissipate uh, more with each year mm. as I do this. But what, one of the trends that I am uh, starting to see are that these retailers are really getting into this experiential shopping. So what's going on, Liz, is that they know that traffic is not that heavy. So retailers are trying to do little things. Like, for example, um, you know, some retailers are partnering with this company called Charge It Spot. So you know how you go out shopping, your mobile device dies and people want to be able to charge their phones. Mm -hmm. So this is like secure uh, charging that's free. And the result is that people end up spending 47% more at checkout wow. because you know they're loitering and they you know they they shop more well that's the big lure then Teresa they've got to figure out right how to have a better experience I mean free chocolate always does it for me but I mean I may be <laughs> I may be in the minority here tell me what you're seeing here is Black Friday still relevant especially when it when it starts on Thursday night and it and we also see a lot of deals well before even today that's true uh, Black Friday is no longer really a day it's more of a term that covers the kickoff of the holiday shopping season. Mm -hmm. We saw deals as early as November 1st in some areas, and I think we've all been kind of trained to expect deals to start even before Thanksgiving. I saw a recent stat from PayPal saying that as recently as 2015, Thanksgiving was basically just another shopping day. And three years later, mm -hmm. they expect a ton of people shopping online. So while Black Friday is still important and people definitely are still looking for those deals, it's more than just the day. Well, um, you know, we're looking at, at, a, at a healthier consumer, Heatha. So tell us what your picks and your pans are. I mean, what do you see? Which names will really soar at this point? And, and are doing that experience correctly. So we saw, and you know, they did re they did report earnings uh, yesterday that mm -hmm. were mixed. However, companies like Target are really spending a lot in their infrastructure to make sure that their customer is not only having that experience within the stores, but also online. Walmart. That, are you, so you're going to go to Target. I mean, what what is your battle plan? My, oh, my, my battle plan is to go directly to Paramus to the Walmart, hit Target, go to the Paramus Mall. New Jersey. Go, yes, New Jersey. Um, and then uh, go look at all the, the uh, retailers there. So Abercrombie, Macy's, and a couple other uh, apparel stores. Head over to Edgewater, look at the Target there. And then, uh, and this is all in New Jersey, by the way. And then head up to another Walmart uh, near in North Bergen. Uh, there, there's a, a TJ Maxx right next to that Target in Edgewater, by the way. Not that I. I've ever been there or anything, but um, <laughs> Teresa, uh, we've got to talk about the death rattle that some people are hearing for J.C. Penney. There are reports that this may be J.C. Penney's last holiday season. This is a dollar stock. What do you think happens at this time next year? Will we still be talking about it? Well, there's obvious comparisons here, right, because we saw the implosion of Sears, and Sears and JCPenney have been put in the same bucket by a lot of investors for obvious reasons. They were facing a lot of problems in terms of their debt, and they're both department stores which are facing structural problems as they lose market share. And I really think that this is JCPenney's last easy shot on goal. Well, right now it's up three pennies 
at a dollar thirty-two. Um, Heatha, you got a lot of work to do. We need to say Mazel Tov to Heatha Herzog. By the way, she just had twins. What a week ago? Are you crazy? Two and a half weeks ago. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah, great. Thank you, Liz. Good to see you, Heatha, and Teresa. Thank you very much. Everybody, read Teresa in Barons. Good to see you guys.